Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, so today we'll be doing a study video. Uh, in today's study video we'll be doing fractions, how to add them, subtract them, divide them and multiply them, like all that. So we'll just get started I guess quickly. So first is fractions, you know how to add, subtract, divide, multiply them all, like that. So first we'll go into addition of fractions. As you can see, here's a simple diagram. You can do one seventh add three seventh equals to four sevenths. So now what you what you really have to do is do one a uh, one so like one plus two which is four. And the denominator does not change. So whenever you're adding, make sure the denominator stays the same. If it's seven and seven, don't add the denominator together. That's something really key you should remember. Seven and seven will equal seven like in fractions terms so always remember the denominator is the same and what just add the numerators to get for so that's a quick diagram on how to um add fractions um so now i will just do some quick examples with you all so here's what you should always do eight add eight and um eight ninths add one ninth well, that will be equal to, first you do 8 add 1, which is 9, 9, 9, remember the denominator stays the same, which is a 9, which is equal to 1 whole. So, that's the first answer to the first question. Now we'll do this. Remember, denominator stays the same, so it's 12. 7 add 3 is 10, so there you go. And then you can further simplify it to 5 sixths, and so on. Then, we'll quickly go through the last two questions. So first you should always write the denominator which is 7. Then you do 5 plus 3 which is 8. Then you can convert it into 1 whole and 1 seventh. So that's what to do. And then finally the last question. So you can see it's 1 whole and 5 sevenths add 1 whole and um, 1 seventh. So what you first do is add the whole numbers which is 1 whole 1 whole which equals 2 wholes. And then do 5, uh, then you do the line, put the denominator which is 7. And then do 5 add 1, which is uh, 6. There you go. So 2 and 6 sevenths. So as you can see, those are some of the practice questions. Um, now we'll quickly move on on some complicated. Not complicated, but some stuff. This is called finding common denominators. As you can see, we have two different yeah. denominators here. So you can't really have one denominator, 7 and all that. So you can't add them together. So what we have to do is find the common denominator. So you have to find the lowest multiple that's in this both time tables. The easiest trick is to do seven time like do the two denominators times together to get the lowest multiple the lowest multiple. So seven times five is actually thirty-five. So we put the denominator as thirty-five. And then what we do, this is pretty complicated now. We have the denominator as thirty-five. Then we do first we take the first one, seven times five. 5 is 35 so you do the same to the top so 5 times 5 which is 25 then you put the add and then do it again for the second one it's 35 as we know the denominator you have to times it by 7 this to this you have to times it by 7 so this on the denominator you have to times by 7 which is 14 so then you have it there and then after that what you can just do is then add it normally which is 39 um, 39 thirty fifths, and then convert it normally like all that. So I'll quickly go through a question with you guys. So first, we find a common denominator between these two. Eight is actually a common denominator of eight and four, because eight times one is eight. Two times four is um, two times four is eight. So what you can do is do eight here. Um, as you can see, we don't have to change anything because eight times one is eight times one like that. Then add 8 here, times that by 2, so you have to times that by 2, 4, which equals to 11 eighths. So that's how to um, solve the addition on fractions. This is like a little bit, you know, complicated, but if you go to your study books and all that, then it'll be easier. So here's your question. You guys can solve and put in the comments down below. 2 wholes and 7 elevenths add 3 whole and 2 elevenths is equal to what? As you can see, 2 wholes and 7 elevenths add 3 wholes and 2 elevenths is equal to what? So that's your question to answer down in the comments. So next we're going on to subtraction. So this is like addition, but you just have to subtract the denominator, um, the numerators, not the denominators. So it's just like 
subtract the numerators rather than adding them. So again, we keep the denominator the same, which is 11. Just do 9 take away 2, which is 7. Again, really simple, just do the numerators minus them. And then the denominator is always the same. So we'll quickly go through some questions. As we know, the denominator is 15. It has to stay the same. 12 minus 11 is 1. Next, we go to the same. Denominator is going to be 15, because both of them are. 1 take away 0 is 1. Then we do 2 take away. Now, again, like the addition thing, how we add them to. Instead, now we divide, which is one whole. And then we do 5 as our denominator here. Then 3 take away 2 is 1. So 1 whole and 1 fifth. Now, finally, the last question. You do 1 whole and 4 fifths take away 1 whole. A 1 whole minus 1 whole is 0. So you don't have any whole numbers. So you just are left with four fifths as you can see here so those are all the um practice questions now again just like um addition over here where you have to you know find a common denominator it's the same over here so okay i'll quickly solve this for you the missing parts so se nine sevenths take away seven twenty eighths is how to solve First, we solve it. We know 28 is the common denominator. So we put a line 28. So 28 is our denominator. We times this by 4. So we have to times this by 4, which is 36. And then we do a minus, and then 28, as you can see here. Times this by 1, so you have to times that by 1, which is there. Uh, 7 28, which is equal to 29 28, which is equal to 1 whole and 1 28. So, yeah, like, like again, you just have to find a common denominator. We can do it again. So, common denominator between these two is 16. So, what we can do is, um, first we do um, 16. So, we, the common denominator is 16 between these two. So, 8 times 2 is 16, as you can see here. So, then you do um, 7 times 2, which is 14. You add them, and then set... And then you, I mean, sorry, you, you minus them. So then you know 16 times 1 is 16. So 5 times 1 is 5. You subtract them, which is 9 sixteenths, as you can see. So that's how to, again, so that's how to subtract fractions. So as you can see, that's pretty simple. Um, you know, if you do just need practice and all that, don't forget the question you guys can answer down in the comments below. 5 whole and 9 thirteenths minus 2 holes and 8 thirteenths. Solve it. And then you can comment down below and I'll tell you guys if you've got the correct answer or not. Now we're going on to probably the easiest thing to do in fractions, which is multiplying. You have to get a you really need a good sense of multiplication knowledge for this. I'll tell you how. So it's really simple. You just times the numerators. So 9 times 10 is 90, as you can see. Then 7 times 7 is 49. So this is an exception where you actually need to not keep the denominator the same. You have to times both the denominators together. And you don't need all this like solving having the same denominators and all. Because you can just times the two different denominators together. So you don't need all this. So as you can see that's really really simple. So we can in quickly just solve all these questions like 9 elevenths uh, and times 3 sevenths. So what we do is 9 times 3 is 27. 11 times 7 is 77. As you can see, is there. So we've got 77. Then we ha Then we just do this. As you can see, that's 6 and 50. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 10 is 50. Then you go 10 times 3 is 30. 7 times 2 is 14. And then we do 20. And then we do 6 times 5, which is 30. Then that equals 2, 1 whole, and 10, 20. Which is equal to 1 whole and a half. So as you can see, that's how we do it. So, as you can see, multiplication is really, really easy to do. So, um, then you can, you know, just do all this, as you can see. Then if you have whole numbers, you just times the whole numbers together. 1 times 5 is 5, and then you do 3 times 6, which is... 3 times 2, which is 6, 4 times 3, which is 12, and then go 5 and a half like that. So, here's your question, really simple question. 7 thirteenths times 6 fourteenths. So comment down below your answer and all that. Now division is really simple. Um, you guys will understand it. So let's say we have, let's take on these questions. Nine, let's do nine elevenths times, um, divided by three sevenths. 
So as you can see, you might you might think to divide it, but no, that's wrong. All you actually need to do is do do that. You copy this down, which is nine eleven. So copy the first one normally. Then you do times, because then you should times it. But this time you swap the digits around. So then it becomes seven thirds instead of three. Three sevenths, it becomes seven thirds. So you swap it around, so it's seven thirds. Then what you can just do is just times it together like 63 and 33. And then you can solve it all together like that. So I'll show you one more time. Let's do 7 tenths times 2 thirds. I mean divided by 2 thirds. So what you just have to do is do copy the same first one down, which is 7 tenths normally. Do it times. Then swap these around so it's 3, um, three halves. Then you just do 21 and 20. There you go, you've solved it already. So that's how to do division. So as you can see, um, all this addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, I really hope you all understood that. It can be really tricky, I know, but fractions is the thing where you have to keep on practicing to get good at it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below any other topics you want me to do. Hope you enjoyed the video, bye.